But how do these atomic orbitals form bonds? Let's use methane as a common example. The goal is to make carbon have four bonds where its electrons are being shared with hydrogen. But if we look at the unhybridized orbitals, one electron in hydrogen's s orbital can't perfectly bond with one electron in the atomic orbitals of carbon since only two orbitals in carbon only have one electron to share. To fix this issue, our atomic orbitals can hybridize, meaning the s and p orbitals will come together to form a new hybridized orbital. With our hybridized orbital, each orbital now has one electron each and can now easily bond with the hydrogens. Note that when we say sp3 orbitals, this required 1s and 3p orbitals to make these. If we had sp2 orbitals, that means it required 1s and 2p orbitals, which means we still have a p orbital left behind. Then sp orbitals means it requires 1s and 1p orbital to form, and 2p orbitals are left behind.